Record a piece, Songs of Kokoriko, traditional Japanese tune. Uh, interesting things here at the beginning, you see there's a, a bar with a number two over the top. That means that there are two bars where the piano plays, but you don't. And as we're in 4-4 four, four time, we're counting in fours. That means you've got to count two lots of four before you actually start playing. <clears throat> at the end of the first bar you play, you're playing A, A, G, A, C. And then at the start of the next bar, you've got another C. But you'll see there's a little line drawing joining them, which is a tie. Which means you play the first C, and then you hold the note on. You don't play the second C, you just hold the note on. So you hold the first C for two beats, and then you go up to the D in the next bar. So it goes da 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 Last part on the first line. Uh, you'll see some volume markings, so P to be in with, which means quite quiet. Halfway through, you've got an F, which means you've got loud, and then you've got the last line, bar 13, you've got quiet, MF quite loud, and it's supposed to get quieter towards the end, <coughs> if possible. This is how it should sound at about the right speed. Remember, we've got to count two lots of four before we start. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Try it slow, make sure you get the rhythm right, don't worry too much about speed, the rhythm is the important thing. Bum ba ba bum ba 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 Practice it bit by bit, put it all together. It's a nice little tune, don't play it too fast. <laughs> 